Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Monday, the 28th day of December. Here we go. If you um, smell somebody who's smoking a tobacco cigarette, and you happen to like the smell of that smoke, the Halacha is that there is no bracha recited on the smoke of a cigarette. The main reason is because the smoke of the cigarette is not intended for others to be smelling. It's not a item made to be smelled by others and therefore no bracha would be recited on the smell of uh, of a cigarette that someone else is smoking, the smoke of it. Of course, you do know that there is uh, there's scented tobacco that uh, old Jewish men have been sniffing, uh, you know, at shul and making a, a bracha on that. That is the, the scentedness of the tobacco is made to be smelled, and of course there would be a bracha made for the smelling of the uh, borimim samim, for the beautiful smell of that. Um, they call it tabak or whatever, but it's an old Jewish custom. Men use it in shul. They take a sniff and they make a bracha first before smelling that beautiful smell. And for that, there would be a bracha, of course. You know at Havdalah, of course, we all make the bracha bori mine besamim. And we make that bracha over the um, the besamim that we sniff at Havdalah. That's because the neshama yaseh, or the extra soul that's with us over Shabbos, leaves us. Um, at that point, and we feel weak, and the sniffing of the besamim kind of reinvigorates us, and we make a bracha over that. Although different besamim get different brachos, the halacha is that all of the besamim that you smell at Havdalah, no matter what kind they are, are all given one set bracha, and that's the bracha of Borei Mine Besamim. So plan to make only that bracha, at no matter what it is that you're smelling for your besamim at Havdalah. Um, you should not use any chemical um, item at that point because there is no bracha of borimini besamim on chemical perfumes. Only if there's some natural thing in it like cloves, cinnamon, or whatever. But um, but just to be smelling chemicals in liquid, which is what some perfumes are, we would not make a bracha on that. Only on real, proper, natural ingredients like cloves or, or things of the sort. You do not, according to most poskim, you do not make a shehechayanu when sniffing a smell that you have not smelled in a long time. We do that if it's a brand new fruit that you haven't eaten in a long time, but if it's a brand new smell that you haven't smelled in a long time, no Shechianu, according to most poskim, no Shechianu is recited in that situation. If a person wants to make the right bracha on uh, on different uh, types of psalmim, there are long lists of, of all the different types of things that are out there. I've just chosen some fun ones for you to note, and here they are. Um, if you're sn- smelling nice-smelling mushrooms, if you find mushrooms that smell very, very nice, then the halacha is that you make the bracha bori mini psalmim, on the mushrooms. If you're smelling crushed olives or the, the olive oil from crushed olives, then you would make the bracha of borei atse besamim. And smelling roses, beautiful smell from roses, also you would make the bracha of borei atse besamim. The wood of besamim or the twigs of besamim, that's the bracha that you would make when sniffing at um, at roses. Okay, thanks for logging on. And that, that closes out our little section on the brachas on smells. We'll move on to a new topic tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.